it's so amazing to see this first live look in the room. There's astronauts Bob Benkin and Doug Hurley sitting in those seats, um, being helped by the suit technicians. Uh, this room was first used for the first Apollo mission, Apollo 7, um, that they suited up in there in 1968. And there they are uh, giving a thumbs up. That looks like Doug giving a thumbs up there. Of course, um, Bob was mission specialist on STS-123 um, and STS-130. Bob's a native of St. Anne, Missouri, so I'm sure folks in his hometown are watching. Lots of hometown pride going on right now. And same for Doug. Um, he was born in Endicott, New York, which happens to be my hometown, too. Oh, wow. Okay. Um, <laughs> but he considers Apple Lake in his hometown, so I know folks are watching there. And Doug was the pilot on STS-127, STS-135, which was the final shuttle flight. Um, so it's so cool to see them in there, uh, Lauren and Leland. Last time this room was used for this purpose that you see here was STS-135 in 2011, and Doug Hurley was one of the astronauts in there doing that. So this is really amazing to see. Wow, so the suits are actually much more than just garments. They actually connect directly into Dragon seats. As you can see there, those GSC seats or ground support equipment seats are essentially replicas of the seats that are inside of the Dragon spacecraft. And the seats provide communications uh, as through an umbilical, umbilical, but also the ability to pressurize the suit if necessary. So right now what the, the suit team is doing is they're doing communications checks as well as a pressure check to make sure that the, the spacesuit can hold pressure in the event of a cabin depressurization emergency. This is the last time that we're going to do this check prior to the crew boarding Dragon where we'll do it all again. So the way that that leak check will work is we will provide or essentially inflate the suit with air and hold that pressure for a few minutes, watch the depressurization rate, and make sure that it stays within bounds. On the countdown net, crew suit leak checks are now complete. Oh, we've got some, some visitors in the room now. It looks like uh, SpaceX founder Elon Musk uh, to the right of your screen and NASA Administrator Jim Bridenstine. Of course, you see a, a partition there to keep them a safe distance from the crew, but they're in there to say hello, wish them well uh, before they depart the suit-up room.